back at it with another video. Yeah, you good? What's up? I know I have been missing for the longest while, but trust me, this is the perfect way for me to come back. I hope you guys missed me as much as I missed you. We got a special, special, special sneaker to review today. My first cop of 2021. Let's get into this review. But before we do that, you guys know we gotta take care of business. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you coming back. If this is your first time here, when you join the Steph Kicks family and the SK Nation, you get mall vlogs, sneaker con vlogs. Well, when we're allowed back unboxings and reviews if that's something you're interested in please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to the channel down low <laughs> now let's go a highly anticipated sneaker for the year of 2020 for all of you out there that did not know in 2002 Kobe Bryant became a sneaker free agent he actually bought out his own contract with Adidas because they just weren't doing their jobs. He had some pretty hideous sneakers. I think of that moon looking shoe. I'll put a picture right here. Mm -mm. Not cool, Adidas, not cool. And for that reason, Kobe Bryant was able to wear a bunch of different sneakers in the 2002 to 2003 NBA season. He wore all kinds of sneakers in games, he wore Nikes, he wore Air Force Ones, he wore And Ones, he wore, of course, Reeboks, and he even wore Jordans, which, of course, is the reason as to why we've seen things like the Jordan 3, the Jordan 8. I think there's a 7, even a 9. So through this time, he was trying out a lot of different sneakers and showing a lot of love to different people. And again, one being Allen Iverson and his sneakers. And of course, this opened up a major bidding war for a lot of the big sneaker companies out there in trying to get Kobe to sign with their company and get a signature shoe. And as we know, he ended up going with Nike and staying with them for the remainder of his career. There are all kinds of photos that are circulating, showing him in game, wearing a lot of different sneakers. So last season, the NBA, when we still had the all-star games and people could go to the games, Reebok had the plan to release this sneaker in Kobe's honor but unfortunately it didn't happen simply because they did not want to monetize on the death and the passing of him and his daughter Gigi. So Reebok postponed the release and therefore we eventually did get the sneaker and I'm happy that Reebok made that adjustment to allow some time to pass before they release this sneaker. Now, even though we know a lot about the questions and it's very similar to other releases, let's get into some details of this. Now, in terms of design, there really is nothing different about this sneaker. However, from doing a little bit of research, I, know, I realized that the hexagon on the side of the shoe is actually a mock of the real pair. They look good, but from trying them on, there's a big difference in how they feel. That cushiony feel isn't there. It does have a little bit of bounce to it, but it's not as much as the originals. And I feel like Nike slipped, and I feel like Reebok slipped a little bit on that. Although this is a PE, still I feel like that performance of the sneaker should have been there. They were really trying to focus on the representation of what this shoe meant to a lot of other people. Kobe fan. On the outsole, you have your normal Reebok symbol with the Reebok symbol all the way under the yellow grip. I can't forget our new buck on the yellow toe. It has the feeling of suede, but it's not suede. It's more of a, of a new buck material, which I'm not really mad at. Three on the back. That's a really, really amazing touch that I really love about this sneaker. There is another PE pair that Reebok had released for Kobe and on the back it has number eight. Now that one is a lot more special. In fact, here's a preview. Amazing sneaker. I really, really, really like this pair. 
I'm not really sure which one I would go with, but if I had to choose, I'd probably pick this pair because that one is a little more personal to Kobe. And of course, I'm clearly a Lakers fan. This is not just me putting on all this gear because I'm all of a sudden a Kobe fan. I've been a Lakers fan for the longest time, so please don't get it twisted. You have your purple Q for question on the back. On the eyelids, you have your Reebok, as everybody knows. And then it has the Reebok symbol on the other side all the way through the eyelids. The laces are a little different this time as well. The OG colorways, they're more of a rope. This one is more... I don't even know. It's it's a little different, and I'm not mad at that. That's okay. As far as details, let's take this one out. I'm going to take the insole out. Not the best. Reebok could have done better on this because I know in my OG colorways, the insoles are much bigger and much better to support my foot. And this is, this is pretty much paper. On the bottom of this of the sole, it has some details. It says 12-8-2002. What is that? Let's find out. should have researched that for you guys sorry leave it in the comments let's get some dialogue going what does that date on the insole mean leave some comments and let me know what you guys found out as for the midsole it's EVA so it's supposed to feel more comfortable than it does but nonetheless again guys we will give Reebok a pass for the fact that this sneaker represents something much different than just the performance of the shoe. Do you guys agree with me that this pair should have been leather on the toe in yellow? That would have been an amazing touch as well as on the back here. That would have been beautiful. But again, like, like I said, Reebok, you guys still did very well with this sneaker. We appreciate it. Salute. Overall, this shoe is a very special shoe to me, and I am so happy to have this sneaker in my collection. I doubt that I'll wear these anytime soon, but just to have them, I am truly appreciative. Well, guys, that is that. Our unboxing of the Kobe Bryant PE Reebok Question Mid Yellow Toes. But before we go, Let's do a few shout outs. Shout out a few people that are supportive of the SK Nation and the channel. Of course, you guys know I have to shout out my Souls Out family. Please, guys, make sure that you are checking out their channels, following them on IG, subscribing to their channels, support their channels, support the Souls Out family. Much appreciated to all of you guys for supporting us. Thank you. I also want to shout out my all Canadian sneaker squad. We are trying to add to the sneaker community in Canada and where we are from and represent what we do for sneakers. Big shout out to Essential Sneakerhead. Big shout out to Tristan Banning, Sneaker Sessions, and my guy Mike. I will make sure that I link all of them down below. Please go subscribe and follow them on IG. Once again, guys, I really appreciate everybody tuning into the video today. I had fun reviewing these sneakers with you. Please continue to support the channel, support the movement, support the nation, and let's keep growing every day. Be sure to follow me on IG and Twitter. I do a lot of updates and a lot of things that are happening with my brand, as well as things that are happening with the channel. So please, let's connect, say hello. I always reply, I always follow back. It's your boy Steph Kicks, and as we always say, shoe love is true love, and I'ma catch you in the next one. Yeah!